You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. Dead civilian stay lay scattered over the streets of the UK country town of Butchin on Saturday 2nd of April. Three days after invading Russia, army pulled back an abortive advance on nearby Kiev. The smell of explosives still hung in the cold, dunk air, mingling with the stench of death. 66-year-old Vasily, who gave no surname, looked into the sprawled remains of more than a dozen civilians dotted along the roadside outside his house, face carved with grease. Residents said their neighbours had been killed under the fire from the Russian troops during the month-long occupation. A body lay near Fasali in the middle of the road, a few metres from his front door. Fasali said it was his son's godfather, a lifelong friend. Much is still unburied dead wore no uniforms. There were civilians with bikes, their stiff hands still gripping bags of shopping. Some had clearly been dead for many days, if not weeks. The bastards, Vasily said, weeping with rage in a thick coat of woolen hat. The tank behind me was shooting dogs. Local officials gave Reuters reporters access to the area and the policemen led its way through the streets, now patrolled by Ukrainian tanks, to the road where the bodies lay. It was not clear why they had not yet been buried. Mayor Anthony Fedorok said more than 300 residents of the town had been killed, and a mass grave in the grounds of the church was still open, with hands and feet poking through the red clay heaped on top. Several streets were strewn with the mangled wrecks of burnt-out Russian tanks and armoured vehicles. Unexploded rockets lay on the road, and in one spot, an unexploded mortar shell poked out of its tarmac. A column of Ukraine tanks patrolled, flying blue and yellow national flags. The Kremlin and the Russian Defence Ministry of Moscow did not immediately reply to the request for comment. A local resident, Maya Zelogsova, 74, said, It was very scary. Twice a return from the dead. Once a bullet hit the window and broke the glass and landed in the closet. The second time a piece of shrapnel nearly missed my leg. The third time I was walking and didn't know he was there with the machete gun. He filed but missed me. I come home. I was speechless. I was beside myself. Those were the events. Besides, it was scary. I feared for the lives of my children. Bacha Mayer, Antelia Frederick, said, Yes, the situation you're describing is typical of the armed conflict zone. The town of Bacha faced military action and the enemy left their guns for us and fierce fighting. Given their inhumane treatment, including that of civilians, I will give an example. Corps of executed people still live in line of the Yublakska Street in Bacha. Their hands are tied behind their backs with white civilian rags they were shot in the back and of their heads. So you can imagine what kind of lawfulness they pretended to hear. We will record this page of our history and it will be used in their tribunal, but I wouldn't like to talk about it now. You should understand what emotion and relief we are feeling now.